Today, we're going to be looking at the top five technical skills for cybersecurity engineers in 2023. Come on, let's have the discussion. Let's get right into it. Welcome back to Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And today, we're going to be looking at the five top skills for cybersecurity engineers here in 2023. And let's start from the top. Let's talk about operating systems. Every digital device that you have, whether your laptop or your phone or your tablet, they are running some type of OS or operating systems, whether it's Linux, whether it's Mac OS, whether it's Windows, that is running. And it's important for a cybersecurity engineer to understand the security implications of those operating systems. Let me give one example here is that within every single device, especially let's just talk about Windows, like a Windows laptop or Windows desktop. The, they have certain privileges on those devices, especially within something called an Active Directory environment. It's a Microsoft, it's a Windows product. So with an Active Directory environment, that is used in order to manage the different devices within a network. So when these devices, say for instance, a Windows 10 machine comes out of the box, in many cases, they might come with elevated privileges within Active Directory. That might mean that that Windows laptop has the ability to run as local administrator, which is a privilege level on that device. For a cybersecurity engineer, you need to understand what are the implications of the privileges that a user can run on that device. Because if a bad guy gets the credentials or a bad guy gets access to that Windows operating system and with local admin privileges, they can do a lot of bad. So that's just one example, but there are plenty of examples of the reason why it's important for a cybersecurity engineer to understand operating systems. Let's move on to our second one. Networking. Networking is extremely important too. In networking, it's important because all these devices within networks, within companies are having discussions with one another. They're talking about HTTP, right? Hypertext transfer protocol, or they might be talking IPv6, internet protocol version six, or they might be talking SMB, server message block. These conversations are important for a cybersecurity engineer because you need to understand the security specifications of, of those. Again, kind of going back to communication protocols with IPv6, many devices come with that enabled by default. And a lot of times it's not even in use in many networks. We are very still on the IPv4 standard where we are starting to transition to IPv6. So if IPv6 is running by default, that can have some security implications to it, right? Because there are different types of attacks that can be used in order to, to take advantage of IPv6 that's not being used on the network to collect credentials from users within a network. So that's another example. And I've been on several different assessments, whether I've done pen tests or red teaming, I have violated, I have abused IPv6 in many cases as a cybersecurity engineer when I'm evaluating the vulnerabilities within someone's network. The next one that we want to talk about are programming languages. Now, this is more important um, for individuals who might be in like application security or might have a focus as a cybersecurity engineer who is focused on secure coding. But understanding programming languages like Python or Java or C++ is also another technical skill of cybersecurity engineers because you might need to work in that of a web application and might need to change some of the JavaScript that might be running on that web application to be more secure so that bad guys can't take advantage of some of those vulnerabilities. So understanding programming languages and also scripting. In many cases, Python is used to script a lot of the menial tasks that you might have to, have to do, the menial checks that you might have to do for different devices. So those, that's another one. Programming languages is another technical thing that's important. Another thing that you need to understand is security testing. Say for instance, you are dropped down into an environment, dropped down into a company, and the company is like, we don't know where the bad is. We don't know where our vulnerabilities are. We don't know where the bad guys can get in. You being able to look at systems, look at networks, look at computers, look at entire systems and say, hey, where can the bad guys get in? That comes in the form of security testing. So you might utilize different tools, things like, uh, let's say for instance, give this example, Nessus. Nessus is a very popular vulnerability assessment tool that cybersecurity engineers can have in their back pocket to be able to assess the security vulnerabilities within environments or within companies. So that's another one, security testing. 
whether it's penetration testing, whether it's another one might, that might be called threat hunting, looking for the bad in network, looking at uh, Windows registry keys, right? Looking to find where the bad might be, where the bad guys might be dwelling. Another one that we're gonna be looking at is compliance. Let's talk about compliance because compliance isn't very much so thought of to be a very technical thing, but it is very important for a cybersecurity engineer to understand the compliance standards for organizations, whether it's HIPAA, with, that's within healthcare organizations, or PCI DSS, which is payment card information, uh, or GDPR, which is very much so in Europe. You need to understand what compliance standards align with the company that you're working for. And I'll put all of those different acronyms there within the description section for you to be able to understand, hey, what type of compliance standards are important to my organization? I used to work at a nuclear plant um, as a cybersecurity engineer. And one thing that was very important or the cybersecurity compliance standard was that of NEI or the Nuclear Energy Institute. That organization worked to push forward standards within our organization and we had to abide by them in order to be considered in good standing with in that case, the US government. So compliance standard for our organizations is extremely important for cybersecurity engineers. And also another one that I'm gonna mention is the last one is that of architecture. Security architecture, right? Defense in depth, these things are extremely important. Um, and I don't think that there's a strong emphasis on that within the field. I've been seeing a lot of trainings and things, but understanding, hey, what is the network layout? What is the network architecture in this environment? Is this a cloud environment? Are we using AWS? Are we using Google Cloud? Is this a Cisco shop? Are we using Cisco switches and routers? And how is everything uh, connected? And what talks to what? And where is their internet access? Or where is there maybe some older operating systems? And how is everything connected? What type of um, access control list do we have that are a part of our firewalls? that is allowing or disallowing traffic in certain directions. Understanding the security architecture is extremely important. And we can find a lot of this in the NIST standards. We can find a lot of these security architectures defined and broken down in many of the NIST standards out, out there. So those are the five cybersecurity technical skills that I think that are very important for cybersecurity engineers here in 2023. If you need to go over any of them, take a step back, go ahead and rewind the video and take a look at that content. And let me know if you are a cybersecurity engineer and you have questions, or if you have additional things that you wanna to add to the list, feel free to put them down there in the comment section. Or if you don't know anything about cybersecurity engineers, feel free to put your questions down there. And again, this is Struggle Security. We are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity and hopefully I've been able to alleviate one of your struggles there. All right, thank you and come back for more.